Vaulted roofs are very popular because they create interest and lighten up a room. However, if you are a client and want an extension with a vaulted roof, you will need to have a structural engineer on board because without a careful design, a vaulted roof could collapse. If you take two rafters and put them on a diagonal and lean them against each other so that they touch at their top, they won't stay put. The tops will move down as the bases move apart. If the rafter bases are tied together, they won't move and therefore your roof is structurally sound. In a conventional roof, this tie is normally provided by the ceiling joist. But because a vaulted roof does not have a ceiling at eaves level, you have to provide another element of structure. This is most likely to be a ridge beam supported at each end and positioned along the apex with the top of each rafter fixed to it. If a beam is inserted in the apex of the roof, the top of the rafter can't move down. This ridge beam will need to be designed by a structural engineer. This is likely to be a steel section or a deep timber beam. Another engineering solution is to cover the roof with plywood or OSB screwed to all the rafters. The rafters on each end should be fixed to the gable walls. If the roof is hit, there is more complexity to the engineering design. These solutions both also need to be designed by a structural engineer. For partially vaulted roofs, the raised ceiling joists may act as collar ties. There used to be a rule of thumb that if the ceiling is in the lowest third of the roof, all is okay. However, with large roofs, this roof should be treated with caution. As building control, we have seen many vaulted roofs that have not been structured properly and have actually moved before the project is finished. So it's important to get this right. And if you have any questions, please get in touch via our details in the description.